nearby the refugees camp where Mattia is now, there is a very special place, which is the headquarter that was set up by uh, the quick response team. And uh, together with Mattia and the Italian NGO, uh, Una Mano per un Sorriso, uh, they are doing a great job. They are really uh, carrying out educational activities for the kids of the camp. We lost Mattia. We are going to get him back very soon. So when we think of the refugees, when we think of refugees, of course, what comes to our mind is basically uh, that they need to survive. So what they need is food, they need medicines, they need water, they need shelter. But what Mattia is doing together with the Quick Response team and the, and the NGO, Una Mano Per Un Sorriso, goes really beyond this. They are building an oasis of hope. They are running these educational and recreational activities uh, with the kids of the camp. Yeah, I can show you that is good from here. Let me just camera. Please, so, uh, please tell us more yeah. about this project. This is guide us through the this is the camp location. that goes yeah. way uh, from here and then all the way there. And here, uh, this is the garden of the the, the place. It's uh, called the Casa Base because it's a safe place for girls. As you can see, there are some women here. And uh, now I will explain you what we are doing here, what is happening here. So basically, this is a completely forgotten refugee camp because once there was working here a lot, a lot of associations, and now there is just uh, one association that works here. And the camp that, that you can see me on the back, it's built for uh, at least 800 people, but now there are more than 1,600 people. And because you want to take the girls a bit away from the camp, you want yeah. to make this. this a safe, a safe place for them. Yeah, exactly. And I have the, see the beautiful paintings they are. Yeah. For example, making. this is one of, of the painted things made by, by the girls. It's their idea. You can see it's basically their story, their experience. It's a boat going uh, filled with people, with kids, with stuff going through the ocean. Uh, to from a land where there is nothing to a land where you know it's a uh, la Tour Eiffel, the Big Bang, uh, and uh, Hollywood. So it's as a way to express their their dreams, their expectation, because their well, and their story. Yeah, also, because they need to talk about yeah, yeah. their story. This is therapeutic. Yeah, all the girls that are, are here are went mainly by by boats from here. Most of the girls from right. here are, uh, let's say, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria. So from coming here, there is only one way. This is one of my favorites. It's made by a sweet, amazing girl called Azal, and it's a Picasso one. She chose Picasso, and and wow. she made it. Oh, by the way, she finished this yesterday. But also, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's also it's, really it's one beautiful. of my favorites. It says a. Uh, the, the the traveling they they go by by foot through the Balkanic road to reach uh, right. Europe. Right, and it's an incredible journey, and it is not over. Yeah, I have to go on the chair to see look at this because it's very big. It's same topic. So a family traveling mm -hmm. and going to Europe. You saw there is the Eiffel Tower, Bruxelles. So mm -hmm. this is the road. Yeah. And also there is here the sketches that they do for training. Like, for example, this is made by a 14 years old girl. Wow. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really, it, it, is, it is, it is. And also, for example... And you are providing them with, with the materials, no? Yeah. You're providing them yeah. with everything. Yeah, yeah, they don't have everything. So everything is provided by a QR team. And uh, QR this team. is a project called, like... Uh, how I uh, picture my own land, so from everything, for my flag, <laughs> you know, for <laughs> what I want in my country and stuff like this. But they are uh, right, right. very, very, very good. And this is uh, one of the activities that the girls love the most because they love to express themselves. They love to make art. They, uh, the idea for giving them the photography class was not uh, the first. I, I come here just to bring medicines. And when they see me with the cameras, just ask me, uh, teach me. I say, oh, of course. And the picture that uh, are they are taking are, break are amazing. You, you cannot say that this picture is taken by a 14 years old girl that take uh, has a camera for like three days. And how important is it? This is vital. As we were saying, 
they need to they need to be happy they need to thrive mentally it's also about mental emotions um, education is absolutely vital you're also teaching them english classes right yeah they, they have english classes uh two at a week two times a week uh, because it's very important for them because uh their goal is to go to europe so uh knowing english for them it's uh it's mandatory for everything for day life for bureaucracy for interacting with the other kids that they will uh, that we find for everything right you are basically empowering them not, not only they are pushing them from every point of view and you are also empowering them and yeah the totally classes. i love the idea of the yoga classes how important yeah. it is to get <laughs> for for everything you are uplifting their spirit Yeah, for every, also because um, it's a, it's a, I don't like when people okay we call them refugees but uh, they are humans so they are like 14 are normal humans. years old girls so they want to do what they the other girl they want to do selfies they want to have fun and stuff like this Absolutely absolutely they, It's they right have girls the right <laughs> So they are here they are listening to what I'm saying Yeah, it's like a school. You run classes every day. Yeah, the during the morning they go to the Greek school, so normal uh, school, and in the afternoon, okay. we'll, uh, there are different schools mm -hmm. classes. Like for example, I just told you, English, art, uh, yoga, photography, gymnastic. Uh, so uh, like a normal school. Morning you learn math and stuff like this, and the afternoon you learn. Uh, you continue to learn. So I was saying, Mattia, that I want to support you because this project is really uh, incredibly relevant. And I believe that I would love to see more of these projects in other refugee camps because the span of the time that these people spend uh, while they are then moved to, let's say, a kind of normal life after the camp, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's big. I mean, they, on average, it's 10 years. Yeah. So yeah, some of these girls. It's a big, big. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're totally right. So it's important to keep them healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Also, because uh, uh, as you told, they will spend a lot of time. Some of the families that are here in this camp are here for three, four years, and before there was like, for example, in Lesbos Island. Uh, you really do uh, uh, an amazing, relevant job, and uh, you need support, of course. So through your beautiful, amazing pictures uh, that we are selling through the website Art for Humanity, we try to raise funds for you, but also we try to um, raise awareness and visibility to this project. I was thinking that our future is like a garden, with the, the, a precious garden, the garden we have now with a lot of flowers, but we cannot just water some flowers. Otherwise, we will have an ugly, incomplete garden and ugly future. So I think that we need to make sure that all the children have the same, try to have the same possibilities, and education is key to this. When I see the happiness that these kids have, when you when you forgot that from like 50 meters from here there is a refugee camp, and they will go to sleep in a tent or something like this. You say, wow, that's it's worth it. So what, what, where will be the other mission? We will be the mission with us uh, always with una mano per un sorriso for children. We will be in Kilis in the in the Syrian border between Turkey and uh, and um, Syria. We run a school here. We run uh, support uh, a long term support for the families. Uh, so we we go there. The idea is to go back there in December. We were supposed to go there before, but because of all the COVID situation, was not possible. And also that when we will enter inside Syria, because we have a running a project in Aleppo, we have a school in Aleppo as well, and a breed a program for feeding the people. And uh, the Turkish government just give us the permission to go back in um, inside Syria. So that is what uh, we will do this December. Thank you so much, Mattia. Oh, I cannot tell thanks you to you. I feel grateful for the way you take care of our humanity, of our shared humanity. Yeah. Thank you so much. I promise I'll do my best to put attention on, on and you. And thank you and for choosing us. Thank you, everybody, for the beautiful messages and for joining us. And I'm sure, guys, you are going to support us. So stay connected. And I ask each of you to do whatever you can to support us. Thank you.